Hello, IWE. Remember me? The Aftershock Adam Ricker? I made my return to Brewer last month and took on parental advisory Johnny Primer. Now, <laughs> the best part about that whole thing is how Johnny Primer thinks, thinks he beat me. But it was all part of the plan. Everything went exactly how it was supposed to go. With the exception of Siler Graves. Now that's another issue that I'll deal with at another time. The point of me being here tonight is to talk about the 2015 King of New England Rumble. Because this year the stakes are very high. The winner of that match goes on to take on Scotty Wilde for the IWE Heavyweight Championship. That's a huge opportunity for a lot of hungry talent in the back. One of those hungry talent is me. I've been in and out of the IWE for seven years. I am an IWE original as far as I'm concerned. I've been through them all. The Primers, the Vegases, even the Eric Johnsons. Yes, I've stood toe to toe with him, the man who trained me. He entered himself at number one in the King of New England Rumble. I hope that I draw number two because I'm gonna throw him out and throw all the other guys out. And it'll be me taking on Scotty Wilde. But I think in that match, the one thing I'm gonna look forward to the most is taking parental advisory Johnny Primer and tossing him out and taking away his opportunity to be the IWE champion again. Satisfying to me. What's my problem with Primer? He'll be there February 6th to find out. I'm the next King of New England and I'm the next IWE champion and no one, nobody is gonna stop me.